What's up, fans? Welcome back to the channel. And shout out to the notification gang, gang gang. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because this is what we do and we do it daily. So hit that sub button. All right, so fans, we got to talk about this. So now you guys know the situation that happened between Chris Brown and Rihanna years ago, right? Like Chris Brown was 18 years old, and one day he unfortunately just went straight Kimbo slice across Rihanna's face. That moment changed their lives forever, right? Like people are going to forever ask Chris Brown questions about that, and there's just nothing he can do about it. It's connected to him for life. Now, he opened up in his documentary about what happened that unfortunate night, and he tells the story so well, and this is what happened. Now, he says that one day Rihanna asked him about some chick that was working for him, and she asked him, like, you know, hey, you know, did you and her ever have something going on, right? Now, he told her no, but before he ever got where Rihanna, he says, him and the chick, they were doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was sleeping with the chick. Now, this is someone that was working for Chris. So, Rihanna definitely had her antennas up when some girl she perceives as maybe flirty or something. And she's working for her boyfriend at the time. You kind of want to know what's going on. So, months pass, whatever, things get serious. Chris Brown comes out of nowhere and he tells her that he wants to marry her. He loves her. But then he opens up and he tells her that, yes, the girl you asked me about a few months ago, before me and you got together, me and her, we had something going on. He says after he confessed to Rihanna that, yes, him and that girl that worked for him had something going on before him and Rihanna ever got together. Rihanna didn't trust him at that point. And they started to fight a lot, have a lot of arguments. And she had huge trust issues. So another situation happens where they're at this party and the same girl that she asked him about and he denied to her that they ever had anything going on and confessed later, she then shows up at the party. She's talking to Chris Brown. Then Chris looks at Rihanna and he sees that she's just crying, right? Just bawling her eyes out. Now, he tells this chick to just go or whatever, or he tries to get away from her. But, of course, like, Rihanna's crying. Then he says, eventually at that party, like, she got over it. She was drinking. He was drinking. And he thought the whole thing was over. Now, of course, it's never over with your girl, right? You may think something is over. But no, it's still in the back of her head, right? So as they're driving, maybe they park somewhere. They're in a Lamborghini later that night after leaving the party on their way home. And she wants to see his phone. Now, she checks his phone. He says that he spoke to this girl earlier in the day by text. But there was a piece of the text that he didn't see. And that was her saying that she was going to show up to this party and that's when Rihanna flipped out. He alleges that she started to kick him. She hit him. Then he snapped. He punched her in the face, bloodied up her lip. She spit the blood in his face. And that's when he hit her again in the face. The situation was just too gone at that point. And he realizes, like, what have I done? Like, like what are we doing here? She leaves. She goes home. And you guys know the story to that, right? I mean, she ends up following a police report. And it's just a tornado for Chris and her as well. Now, he says that they will fight all the time. Sometimes she would hit him. She would scratch him. He would hit her. He said that he would have to lie about scratches on his face when people ask him what happened to him because she didn't scratch them on the face. Or maybe he bruised her up and... She would have to lie to people. So, you know, this relationship seemed like it was very toxic, right? Like they loved each other. But at the same time, there were so many problems going on where they were abusing each other. And that's never a good thing. Anyway, I'm Domin's Live. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And I'm.